I am Tia. Hi, I am Vivek. I am a doctor. I work with a healthcare technology company. Uh, I am Vivek's wife, Ajanta. And uh, I work with a, a counselling firm called Inner Sight Counselling. I am Mahadevan. I worked in Chile uh, for 30 years and uh, retired in 1999. Hello, I am uh, Malika Mahadevan. Welcome to all of you to chat with Lakshmi and welcome to you too. Suppose I first met Vivek, Ajanta and the rest of the family a couple of years ago and I was really fascinated uh, that they were all, it was three generations living under one roof and very peacefully, very beautifully so. Um, and I'm really curious, you know, how this came about and you know, how it's so functional and beautiful at the same time. I can't even explain it actually. It's just something that has just come about very naturally and over the years it's taken time and I think effort without realizing from both sides. Uh, for me what has worked is I think the space that my in-laws have given me. I think that has been a very big factor. I think we had our areas marked very clearly right from the beginning and I don't think we've ever encroached each other's space and I would say that was one of the main reasons. For example, uh, I've stayed uh, all my life in a hostel. Uh, I have no idea of keeping house, cooking and that kind of stuff. So I've always stayed out and uh, you know, just, just had that sort of a lifestyle. When I came over here, uh, there was a setup already in place. There was a functional setup. Uh, Vivek's mom was in charge of how the house was run and stuff. And I was very happy let, letting her do that. It wasn't like, you know, I have gotten married, I need to have control of this. Is a Similarly, I was uh, very clear about uh, my kids. Mm -hmm. uh, there was this notion, I won't deny, that if you live with grandparents, children can get spoiled. Because, uh, you know, grandparents are that much more indulgent with uh, kids. And uh, they've never interfered with my disciplining of the kids. I grew up uh, with a lot of cousins. Like every Sunday we'll meet, then we are 30 to 40 of us getting together. Still we have that uh, relationship. So for me also it was easy. And she was more like a daughter to me. How's it been for you, Vivek? As in, Actually I, I it's not been too difficult for me. It's more I think the dynamics between my mom and Bobby which made the difference. <coughs> And I think for Bobby, getting used to the food also over here would have been a challenge initially. But mm. I think she has a liking for South Indian food. And, <laughs> and for a South Indian man. <laughs> 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 I think uh, when I got married, I was like 23, 24, which is pretty young considered now to get married at that point. I think I'm really glad about one thing that I did. I never pretended to be what I wasn't. Uh, for example, I'm not a very typical conventional homely sort. And I never pretended to be otherwise. The support system that in-laws provide is unbelievable. Today, I'm someone who's aspired to do certain things with my career, my life, and it would have been impossible if I didn't have the support of my in-laws. Impossible. I was in uh, marketing and, and communications, and then after the children have taken a break and I've just finished a very intensive and rigorous training of, uh, for counselling, Vivan was just two years old at that point. Tia was like in class 2. I mean, it's difficult managing with kids. There must have been times when things were challenging. How did you cope with that as a complete unit? In the entire uh, 13 years of my marriage, we've had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, I mean, every married yes, couple yes. goes through it. Yeah, it's, it's a part and parcel. But I don't think at any point we've ever discussed staying away from uh, with experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's never been an... Uh, whatever issues were <laughs> very uh, far removed, but this has never come up, saying that... Uh, yeah, absolutely. And even if I felt uh, they are having, uh, what do you say, some sort of uh, argument, or argument or whatever, we have never asked them. We just let them solve it themselves. Mm. If I am upset with uh, my father-in-law or my mother-in-law, I would involve Vivek in it. When I am depressed or I have a problem to deal with, normally I go to her and tell her everything so that my you uh, take it out of your problems. chest, mm, talk to my wife, normally she only does it and uh, most of my, uh, the depression, you know, within about two hours disappears and she also gives her some uh, personal problems mm -hmm. or she takes it and deals it with it. Uh, there is a big relief to me. Fajun was a man of very few words, very touched by what he said just now. I think. Uh, He's just someone I feel very protective about. Uh, their uh, mother and son will vouch <laughs> anyone who <laughs> says anything about him and I'm ready to <laughs> defend. And uh, I think uh, what he said just now, uh, 
about you know uh, confiding and talking to me you know people who are don't speak much don't get let out their uh, emotions whatever they are going through and uh, while vivek and his father have a, a healthy relationship uh, it's a very typical father son relationship they don't talk much they can sit in a room and be watching tv or reading a newspaper for hours right. without communicating so i think that comfort level he's found with me and i'm so glad i feel very touched uncle by what he just said it's it's just been uh, such a uh, you know uh, an honor to actually be part of the family and you know just talking about it now we don't normally talk like this right we don't express to each yes. other how much it has meant for all of us to be together and i'm really glad that you uh, provided us with that opportunity good any positive reassurances and reinforcements are very important for everybody yeah. Yeah. but i'm also glad that you've been able to openly express mm. what you felt about the whole unit and what it's meant for each of you mm. you know individually i think uh, it's really nice not everybody can express it so beautifully Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and for the beautiful yeah. cup of coffee. Thank you. 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 Thank